Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy Bashore and I am the lover of all things outdoors and especially adventuring with my two German short-haired pointers. Today, I wanna focus on how to keep your dog from eating too fast and why that's important. You'll probably hear them in the background because anytime anyone around here starts to talk or have a conversation, they think they need to be a part of it and they start fighting in the background, which is what they're doing right now. They're a little nutty. So what led us on this journey is that my youngest dog, Berkeley, who is going to be six here soon, so he's five at the moment, he would start eating really fast, inhaling his food, and then within seconds would throw it up so fast that we couldn't get him out the door even. And so it was happening constantly. He couldn't keep food down and he would just literally inhale it. I would put it in the bowl, it would be gone in seconds and then it would be thrown up on our dining room rug before we could even have a chance to get him out the door. And so that kind of led me on a journey to figure out why this was happening and what I can do to help him and make it stop. So some of the dangers of them eating too fast include the fact that they could choke, um, they can gag, they could vomit, or even they could have bloat. And it can be very painful and life-threatening to the dog. I actually had a friend that lost her dog to bloat. So these are very important things to be aware of, which is why when this started happening, I needed to look into why he was eating so fast and what I could do to help him slow down and um, live a better life, I guess, overall. So there are two ways, when I was researching, there are two ways that I kind of looked into as to how to slow him down, ways that I could slow him down. There's kind of an inexpensive way that you likely have the stuff at home. And then there's another way that's actually also inexpensive, but you just have to purchase something um, to, to help in that arena. So the first one is using tennis balls and a muffin tin. You probably have these around. If you have a German short hair, you probably have an ample amount of balls and probably a muffin tin of some sort, regular size muffin tin. So this is a cheap option. You probably have these things like I mentioned. So it's something that's worth trying um, when you first see this happening if you're not able to get something else right away. This is definitely a great thing you could do in the interim while you wait for something else to arrive that I'll tell you about in just a little bit. So the only reason that I didn't continue with a tennis ball muffin tin route is because I was afraid, because I have two dogs, I was afraid that my other dog would think it's a fun game. And instead of focusing on his food, he would want to, of course, play with the balls. He would think it's a, a treat game, something else that's happening and not necessarily, um, this is Berkeley's food time. He wouldn't understand the difference. Now, like I said, if you've got two dog dogs, it can become a little bit of a challenge because the second one's gonna think it's a game. Um, the main one that you're trying to get eat may also think it's a game, may get fo more focused on the ball. So I decided to go a different route um, after kind of evaluating the challenges that might happen with a tennis ball muffin tin scenario. So what I ended up doing is finding a slow feed dog dish. So I purchased this off of Amazon and I will put the link below so you can find the one that I have and then, but there's a lot of them on there, um, but I'll just show you the one that I went with that has worked for us. It's a brand called Outward Hound. It's a little bit chewed up because at the last dog boarding place that I had them for a weekend, they left the dog dish in with the dogs. And if you know Berkeley, he gets bored and when he gets bored, he chews on things incessantly. So of course that dish got chewed on, but it works nonetheless. It just is a little less pretty than it was when we first got it. Just to preface, we did take Berkeley to the vet to have him checked out. I wanted to make sure that there was nothing else wrong with him before we just jumped into the slow feed route. And so the vet did assure us that he is a healthy dog. He just inhales his food way too fast. And he agreed that going the slow feed dog dish route was a great way for us to go. Um, or at least to try, and if that didn't work, we would come back and figure out what's next. But for us, the slow feed dog dish did in fact work to slow him down. He still eats fast, but he's a little slower, and we haven't had problems with him throwing up his food since utilizing this dish. So it's a win-win in our opinion. So basically you take the crevices, you fill the dog food all the way around into the dish to evenly distribute it, and then the dog just has to slowly nose his way around um, trying to get the food out of the little crevices. It just makes it a little bit slower than a huge dog dish where I feel like they can just inhale it right up into their mouth into one swoop and it's gone. This way he has to kind of work for it. Um, I feel like the longer he's had it, the better he gets at it. So he's getting a little faster again. We might have to try a few different ones and rotate them. Maybe they just need to be 
um, different so it challenges him more I'm not sure I will let you know on that part but so far this one is working and he hasn't had any problems since we started using this dog dish so we've been doing this with Berkeley since last September and I just haven't really talked about it because I wanted to make sure it was something that worked for us and for him what you don't need nothing what Oh, it's Benny. Oh, there's Berkeley. Yeah, you like to food Yes. yes. <laughs> Always have to say hello. Yeah, you do. That's too much love. <laughs> so we're happy. He's happy. Our floors are happy because we don't have to scrub them every 10 seconds. Overall, we've been really thrilled. It's an inexpensive way to help solve this problem. And I hope if you're having that problem too, that this will help you. Um, I'm so thankful that we decided to go this route and that it wasn't anything serious. I no longer feel like I have to watch him like a hawk. I was tending to have to feed him and then I would watch him. And then immediately after he ate, I would take him outside just in case he threw up. So I was becoming kind of paranoid. Um, but this dish has definitely solved that. And so I'm very thankful for that. Um, as always, make sure you take your dog to a vet. I am not a doctor. I am not a vet. I am not an expert. I am just a woman that has two German short hairs that she loves extremely well. And I try really hard to help other people coexist with their German short hairs as well, because it's not an easy journey. And if you've been with me for a long time, you know, how difficult it was in the beginning for me, but I'm here to help you learn to live happily with your German short hairs, and it is possible. I have two of them. I really would love to have three of them. We just don't have enough room right now, <laughs> but maybe someday. So there's always a chance. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you've had the same issue or another issue, I would love to hear in the comments how you dealt with yours. Um, and anything else that you'd like to tell me, I can't wait to hear it. I love your comments and keep them coming and I will see you in the next video. So I, since I kind of just bugged them with having their food out in their dog dish, I'm going to go ahead and give them a treat that they are very excited about. So these treats are some of their favorites. I will also link these below because they definitely <laughs> love these as you can tell. Hi cutie. So a lot of the times because they're kind of big, they're a little bit big. They're kind of a big heart. You can see it. I usually um, break them in half. They still get a whole one, but I give them, they think they're getting two treats, so they get two halves, essentially. Um, it's a little bit of trickery I like to do. Look at them. You want a treat? Okay. Okay, come here. Can you sit? Sit, baby, sit.